All right, so let's move on here and use the duplicate special tool. First, let me select that background image. Um, I don't need that anymore. I don't want to delete it, so I put it on a new layer and hide that layer. So with that piece of geometry selected, let's um, go here to edit, I go here to the duplicate special tool, I hit the options box, and um, yeah, as you can see here, um, I've um, let me just um, reset the settings. So I want to, because I know this is one unit here, um, so I want to move the every copy um, of that in Z by one unit type that in and altogether I need uh, 50 pieces so I've got one here so I need 49 copies of that all right so hit apply and there you go so we get 50 pieces of geometry here looks weird for now but um, yeah you will see soon what uh, this is going to be in the end so with all those objects selected go here up to combine and then right click go to vertex mode select all of those vertices and then say merge. Hit the merge button. And let's uh, check that out if there are any uh, merge merging problems. So I'm just um, looking at the piece here um, and try to find uh, an, an um, border edge because of um, there might be problems uh, when merging. But it looks, looks good, so there is no issue. Uh, so I, I can't see an issue, so OK. Let's um, take this piece here, um, and now let's um, bend this. So to bend uh, this piece of geometry, all you need to do is go to your animations um, options here and uh, create another deformer. This time we want a nonlinear deformer, a bent deformer. With that bent deformer created, um, you see here on the right side under your inputs the curvature. So let's uh, dial in um, some curvature. So click on that and the middle mouse. And then let's rotate that guy in negative 90 degrees in X and negative 90 degrees in Z. So now it's bending in the right direction here. So now we need to tweak that curvature. So we have to dial it up, dial it up. So I want to to bring it as close um, together as I can. So to fine tune that with that curvature selected here, um, hit control and middle mouse. And like I said before, I want to bring it as close as I can together. Uh, let me zoom in on that. And let me turn on wireframe unshaded. So OK, we get to, um, uh, something like that. So 3.2. So this is, I think this is very close here. It's not overlapping, but it's close as you can see. So let's try something like 3.201. Ah, that's that's almost perfect. So and if yours um is not sitting, you know, exactly on top of each other here, um, that doesn't matter. So if you um later if we merge this um, yeah if there is just a tiny distance between those and you merge those um, that's something that you won't see later on so you can definitely not see it so all right so let me just for um, sake of demonstration um, try 3.02 uh, so now you see it's getting overlapping. So the best um, I, I can get here is, uh, in my case, 3.201, right? So now um, with that piece of geometry bended here, let's um, select the object and delete the history to get rid of that bent um, deformer. So select um, vertices, especially all the vertices um, that are on those border edges here. And if you have um, more than that selected, that um, shouldn't um, give us some problems here. So if we just merge that, um, you see nothing happened because the merge distance should be cranked up a little bit. So after merging it, go to your inputs and click on the merge here and say we want the distance set to 0 0.001. That doesn't help. Let's try something like 0 0.005. That helped. So now you can see that um, yeah, all the vertices that were uh, on that border, on the two border edges that merged, and all the, the other uh, vertices are 
or should be in the same position as they were before. All right, so now we have the main piece of that tire um, done here. So let me just um, center the pivot and move it um, to the uh, holding uh, while holding down X and middle mouse, bring it uh, to the center of the grid. Hit F to frame on that. So yeah, so this is um, the first part of the tire. Um, and now we can go on and say, okay, we want to create um, a little bit more detail here. The reason why I want to put in more detail here is uh, because, um, yeah, the tire here um, that we just uh, made, that is, uh, I think it's a little bit too, um, yeah, I would say small. So I could scale it out. So that's a fact. But um, yeah, I, I'm losing some some of my detail and I think it looks better if we um, just um, um, duplicate this and put it back together okay so let me just freeze the transforms here freeze transformations and now let's say okay we want to um, hit control D to duplicate that and um, move that other guy over here and then uh, let's say okay I want this to be scaled uh, negative 1 and x negative one and now yeah, you can see so this is two tires now but um yeah we will have um to connect those um let's put it here and um, if i look at that i don't want this um kind of zigzag here in, in that thread so i want to i want, might want to scale this um, um negative one in z so I type that in negative one so now you see we have a nice pattern here that's going this way um, yeah, I like that so and if you want to you can go in and uh, rotate that guy a little bit um, but I think I leave it here I like that style um, so now we go in here and um, let's um, select both of the objects and say combine those um, with those combined we um, go here to edge mode and um, double click on that border edge here so it selects the the whole border edge and we do the same on the corresponding on the other other side so hit, hold down shift double click on that edge and so now what you should have is if I zoom out you should have um, the two border edges selected so now we're going to use um, a tool that's called the bridge tool um, to do this, we have to go back up here to our polygons um, menu and then go to edit mesh and do right up here the bridge tool. Let's check uh, the options here. Um, let me reset the settings. So by default, it should uh, say, okay, uh, it's gonna bridge and put in five divisions. I don't need five, I think two is enough. So type in two and say apply. Takes a second. So there you go. So now Maya, um, yeah, made a, a bridge between those two uh, edge uh, border edges that we selected and then put in uh, those two divisions here so yeah that's that's it for now and again let me pause the video for um, that 10 minute limit here so see you in the next video to finish up the side of the tire and um, yeah create a simple UV map to put in that bump map for the side okay see you